Hey, what's up guys, Tetrak here. I just wanted to give a quick tip on creating a scroll wheel list um, in a game that may not have shortcut keys. So, of course, Path of Exile, you know, hit high, it does have it for inventory and other things, but let's say we're just gonna use this as an example of maybe this one doesn't. So how would you do this? Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, change this to scroll wheel. Um, and we're going to use the scroll wheel here to create a, a set of, uh, of movements for the mouse cursor to, to tell it to move to the specific items on the list. So first thing we need to do is create an action to open this menu up because there's no shortcut key to open this menu up, right? It's left click on it. What we're gonna do is come here and I already have it created, but I'm going to show you how to create this. So um, regular press, we're gonna do a mouse movement, right? And I'm gonna tell the mouse to move here and we're gonna keep it in the new position. After it moves, I want to left click, click on it to open it up. Well, because there's a delay, you have to create a delay in it so that way it gives it time to move and then left click. So what I did here is I added four clicks. And you may have to, you know, adjust it according to the game. Some games it takes, you have to create a little more delay. Sometimes you don't need as much. But right now, four clicks seems to work. So I'm just going to hit the left grip, which I created, and it opens up the menu. Okay. The other thing too is uh, you may want to do is create a layer for this. So I'm going to go ahead and create an action here. And I'm going to call this menu list here. And uh, it's here now. So on the default, what I want this to do is after it left clicks, um, and uh, you can do this on release actually if you wanted to, but I'm going to say I want it to switch to menu list. Oops. Change the apply action layer. Menu list. All right. And we're going to put a delay in this. I did four clicks for the left click. I'm going to do four more after that. So that should work. It switches it. What it will do now is when it's done, it'll switch it over to this. Um, menu list I have here okay and the reason I wanted to do that is because I might want to um, in my default here use this this uh, this for something else right um, so maybe I want to use it for my professional pad and I don't want it to constantly be the list because I'm just opening it for that purpose so let's go to the menu list here and we got a scroll wheel. All right. And the scroll wheel list one is going to be inventory. And we're going to go ahead and get this. And um, I need to open this up first to, to tell this where this goes. Main and do position. The second one we're going to do is cosmetics. And if there's anything in your list you want to skip, you can. So I'm going to go to cosmetics here. Main and do position. Uh, this one will be microtransactions. I'll just call it micro. All right. All right. Okay. We'll do a couple more here. And we have character and then passive. Character. This is passive or skills, right? Um, okay. So we could do each one, it would take a while, but I'm just going to show you, as an example with this, how this works. 
So we have to be created a scroll wheel. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit escape. And if nothing's open, I'm going to left grip it. And then I'm just going to, it should have switched me over to that layer, which it did. And you see how I'm scrolling with my left thumb pad. And I can reverse it. And it goes through the list that I created. Now we want to be able to go back um, to the default or whatever we were using, which I was using default. So we're in menu list, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a press release, right? So I'm going to hit add activator. We're going to copy activators here. So copy them all, right? Actually, you may not even need to do the copy. I don't even think you do. Let's go here. Yeah. So what you would do is um, we're going to change the first one to remove mini list, and we're going to put this as a release press, right? So we can take these off. We don't need those. So you're going to hold down the lift grip now. It's going to open up the menu and you're going to scroll through. That's what this is going to allow you to do. All right. So, um, so right now I'm going to hold it. It's going to open it. I'm going to scroll through, select the one I want, and then release. And that puts me back in default. So I no longer can use that. Uh, if I want to open it again, I hold the grip. I can go through, right? and hit A, and then release, and it puts me over here, okay? So um, that's a quick way to do um, scroll lists. Uh, the other way, which I actually prefer, and we're going to get a new list again here. Instead of using the scroll wheel, we're going to use the radial menu, all right? So I'm not going to put in all the names, but you're going to set this up the same way, right? Uh, we're going to go to menu, and we're going to do this here, right? And we're going to reposition, and I'll explain why I prefer it this way. In a second, I'm just going to set up a few here. Character. One more. I'll do one more since it's on there. But you can have up to 20 in, in uh, the radio menu. So you can have up to 20 um, items. While with the scroll wheel, you can only have to pick up to 10. So this actually gives you more options to do a scroll wheel. Now, you're going to have the uh, display, and let me just show you when I open this up how, what it looks like. Um, okay, so if I hold the meat grip again, it's going to open it up, right? Um, uh, so we want this to be touch release, right? Why is it doing that? There's something that's making it hit. Release press. It's weird, it's hitting. Uh... Okay, it must have been a weird glitch. Um, actually, we want this always on. So, what I'm going to do is come back here. It's my fault. Um, always. Let's see. And see with always, you're going, I'm spinning through this list that I created and it's going through them. And then I select which one I want and it opens it up, right? So you can create the list that way, um, through a radio menu. And if you don't want the radio menu, 
to show, you just go here and you drop the opacity down. You just like say it. And now when I go through it, you see it's not showing. Um, open cosmetics, right? And, or inventory. Now, why do I like the radio menu more? Is because we're going to turn this up just to show you. Then the scroll wheel, because the scroll wheel only gives you um, one option, which is to scroll back and forth. While with the radial menu, um, you get the option of hitting in the direction you want, and it jumps right to it, right? You can't do that with the scroll wheel. So if you want to get to something real fast, you can do it that way, right? Um, but you still get the same benefits of having a scroll wheel, mouse, list. Now there's another more advanced way that you can do this if you want. Um, I'm just going to show you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show activators. And let's say you wanted this to actually open the inventory. Since you're using a radio menu, you can do this. You can't do this with the scroll wheel list. Um, go to and left click and we're going to hit fire start to write for a four clicks right um so what's going to happen is you're going to open this and then you're going to uh you also have to put this instead of always on touch release so if i wanted to open um the inventory I could click this, scroll through, and when I release, it actually opens it up for me. So uh, that's a quick way of setting this up. So let's give you another example here. I'm sure you get this by now. But just the kits. I'm going to do this. Um, close this out. Now, if I go to inventory, it'll do it, but if I also go to cosmetics, oh, sorry, I actually clicked the button. Why cosmetics? Did I have it on cosmetics? Let's see. Oh, I had to, you have to get out of that for it to actually accept it. That's why I didn't accept it. So once you're out, it should activate it now. So there we go. Um, Maybe I want to open the interval. Uh, whatever, you don't even have to you just do that. So, an easy way to create um, actions to set up to open up things really quickly without having to use a list. But, you know, that, that obviously is going to take a little more time to set that up. A uh, list is pretty easy to set up. And once you get through the list, you can uh, just hit your whatever button is the what, that you have for your left mouse to activate it, and voila, it's open. So uh, a few ways to um, get into things, and you can even create further if you need to, like, say, for instance, a list within a list. You can do that um, because then you can go in here and you can go, okay, after... Let's say, for instance, inventory had um, a list in it, right? Well, what you do is come add an action there, right? And you could call it inventory list, right? And you hit OK. And then in here, and you come in here and you create a new list of uh, whatever whatever is in the inventory, right? So you know, if you wanted to um, go through your items in your in your list, right? Uh, oops, not use scroll wheel. Use the menu, right? Um, so, for instance, um, I want this to move into my headgear, right? I can do that and then let's first open up uh just gonna inventory real quick. 
Okay, I want it to move here, right? And what is the position? And I had to set up earlier for something else. I don't need it. And then I can go down to here and say, for instance, in this list, I want it to be something else. Uh, because this is my inventory over here, right? Uh, so you can you can create lists within this, right? Uh, and eventually, you know, it depends on how far that rabbit hole you want to go, but you can do it. It's up to you. It's going to take time. Uh, but I hope that gives you guys a good idea of the possibilities of using the mouse movement to create lists, using the radio menu, or if you just want to use the scroll wheel list. Uh, to do it. Either way works. Um, I find the radio, radio menu works better. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, thanks again for watching. All right.